In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, export this character, uh, bring it into Mixamo and uh, record a few animations for him, export some animations and then combine them here under actions. Yeah, So you can go from one action to the other in Blender. Right, so this is my simple guy. I put some colors on him now. So he's got some clothes. Normally all my tutorials, he has nothing. So didn't want to leave him naked. So what I have here is just, if I go to shading mode, is this is a texture apply. Um, and I just have the UVs in the right color, that's all. Okay, let's just export now. So, uh, into Mixum. And the other question that uh, students ask me is when you bring to Mixum and it comes without textures. And that is because you have to uh, create a zip file with the texture. Uh, let me just export this first. Export as an FBX and and I'm going to call him Simple Guy. Here you go. Export. No, let me just select Visible. Export FBX. Okay. So, now I am in my Mixamo. And I have this guy there. Uh, so before I do that, let me go to my uh, folder where I have. So I have here the guy that I exported. It's called Simple Guy and the palette, which is the texture. So if you want to bring him with the texture into Mixamo, you have to select both and compress them and create a zip file. And I'm going to call it Simple Guy dot zip. Okay. This is what I am going to import now. So if I just go to um, upload character. There we go in zip file. If you just bring the 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 FBX file without the texture it will not it will come white. Okay. So there we've got him. So chin. Let me just go put his chin, it's going to be somewhere here. Wrists, there. Elbows, there. Knees, and groin. Press next to create the skeleton. So, in place of rig, it should take a few minutes or, you know, up to two minutes, but it should be done soon. So what we're going to do, we're going to choose a couple of animations here and then we export him, bring it back to uh, Blender and create actions. So and then you can control, you can put one action after the other. Um, yeah, so yeah, we've got him. Okay. Okay, here we have it. Right, so uh, I'm gonna look for a uh, walking. This is a walking uh, animation, and uh, I have him this one walking. I'm gonna make him walk in place, and there's things that I want to check in this animation. Is the fact that you know his hands is going through his legs, so I'm just what I can do is to open the car character arm space so yeah a little bit more it's kind of yeah okay that would do and i'm going to download this uh with the skin download okay so now i'm going to look for running This is running really fast here, which is good. Let's just get this running here. Yeah. Just rotate around to see if there's anything going through his body. I'm just going to open a little bit again, just in case. Yeah download i'm going to download the running so when i download it's going to be in download folder so download um you 
for what I'm going to show you, you can download without the skin, just the first one with the skin. But I did this before and I was having problem with the with the arms that were going, got getting, you know, I couldn't do it properly. There was a problem in Blender, so I don't know if it's a bug or what it is. So I just download with the skin, even though we're going to delete it later. Let's get one jumping. That's that looks good. Let's go look. Yeah. Again, I'm just going to open a little bit. I think that's okay. So I'm going to download the jumping. That too. Okay. Right. Or maybe it's just because it's fun. Let's just do this one. Why not download that too? And um, yeah, I'm downloading 30 frames per second. Okay. So now I need to go to my download folder and I'm looking for it here now. And I'm going to go back to my folder where I had. I'm just going to bring those animations. So I've got the walking, I've got the running, I've got the running forward flip, and uh, I've got the other one called running, but I think running one. So I'm just going to running, rolling, just call it that. Okay, now can minimize Mixamo, go back to Blender now. And I've got my file here. I'm just going to save this. I'm not sure if I said it before. Uh, I'm going to turn off, just hide him, and um, bring the first animation. Walking, import, and I've got him here. If I open here my animation here, I can see my frames there, and that's what I have. So let me just put here about 80 frames, it should be, or maybe 100. Okay, so I've got him there. I'm going to bring the other one. Uh, FBX, running. And uh, press G and move it across. Yeah, so we have that. Okay. Uh, bring another one. Import um, FBX uh, forward flip. Yeah, that is cool. And let's bring one more because because we can. Import um, FBX running running rolling. Kind of slow that one isn't it so i don't know if we're going to use that but you know for the purpose of exercise i'm definitely going to use the other three and we shall see okay so the first thing i'm going to do is cl click this one um the walking one and what i want to do is first i want to change the names of those actions and so give some names so i am in a timeline now yeah so i'm going to go from timeline to the dope sheet and Inside Dope Sheet, I'm going to go here into Action Editor. So that means I'm going to record those actions. And I'm going to call this run, uh, sorry, walking, this one, isn't it? Walking, right? And uh, this one, I'm going to call it running. This one, uh, is it jumping? Is it the jumping one? Yeah. And uh, that one here is the rolling. I'm going to call it rolling. Okay. So I have those four animations here. 
okay and what I want to do now in order to record those actions I'm gonna call come down here not here where where the dog sheet is and then I'm gonna come to if I can uh, non-linear animation yeah let's see as you can see here now I have uh, all those actions there right and I want to record them so I can uh, use the same action for my one skeleton only my armature so if you click this button here push down action yeah so you create a strip Boom. walking so that's my walking yeah so then I do the same thing for the others so my running my jumping and my rolling just bring this up okay so now officially in the I don't need the others now I just need one but let's keep it here now so uh, what I'm gonna do with the walking selected I'm gonna come to the end and I'm going to add an action strip in, in theory I mean I could delete those guys I'm gonna keep them now because the strips are made those actions are recorded already so I don't actually need any of these guys here but let me show you I can actually just I'll leave them for now just so it's not I can delete them later right so walking now I want to after walking I want to add an action strip and I say okay from walking I want to go and run so let's see what happens he's walking in the middle one we're looking at and then he starts running but he has this is a jump here boom you see here done so I actually want to add a little so you can move these guys you see now I want to add a transition so from walking to running so I select both and add a transition in the middle that's it I mean you can decide how long the transition is going to be so it's a lot better now see excellent so let's go to the end and add uh, actions trip and I want to go for the jumping so he walks he runs and then he jumps so again I want to add a little bit of a transition here so select those and add a transition so if we go back to see what the other one is let's see let's put another one let's just add action strip and I want to go the rolling so here I definitely need a transition he's gonna run away so add uh, click those two and add a transition you could move them up and down here as well so you can put them uh, up here so let's have a look right so if I go back to my uh, time timeline I'll just put 200 frames here and select this so he walks he runs he jumps and he times I mean that time is a little bit too far so I can go back to my uh, nonlinear animation and I can extend this I don't know yeah so he's kind of slipping a little bit but obviously you need to adjust everything um, until you're happy with the animation so now I actually don't need this guys so 
I can delete those. I can delete this guy and I can delete this guy because I have all the actions already. So let's have a look how this goes. Dun, dun, dun. Run, jump and go. Yay. Excellent. Okay. So that's all I want to tell you in this video. I hope that was useful. If you liked this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing a lot more videos. Um, the future videos will include Marvelous Designer for clothing and also uh, the transition to Unreal Engine, from Blender to Unreal Engine. And I'm uh, preparing a whole lot of videos for you. So if you like, press the subscribe button and you get notified as soon as I put a new video online. Okay, I see you in the next video.